Hello, my name is Matthew Krupsack. I'm a computer scientist from Atlanta, Georgia in the United States. And today I'm proud to be sharing a preview for version 0.15 of Open Athena for Android, which is some software that I've been working on that's free and open source. So the main concept of this software is that you have an app which you can load a digital elevation model which stores the altitude of terrain for an area of the earth and then you can load drone images into the app and tap any location on the drone image and it will perform a ray cast from that point in the image towards the digital twin of the earth stored by that digital elevation model and it will give you a very precise location as to where that actually is on the Earth. Um, and so I think it's easier to explain just seeing it in action. So to start, I hit the button with the picture of a mountain, and then I load in a digital elevation model, which um, details for how to acquire one of these can be found in a different video. Um, and so that's step one, we load a digital elevation model. And the software tells us that it was loaded. It tells us the size as well as the coverage area. Next, we load an image taken by any number of uh, common drones, including uh, those made by DJI, uh, Parrot, Autel, or Skydio. Um, some models don't work because they don't store the correct metadata, but uh, most models do work and work pretty well. Um, and so I'm just going to load this image, which was taken by a DJI Mavic to Zoom. And okay, so I'm inst instantly greeted with this um, status. And we can see new in this version is a marker. It's, um, it's in uh, pink uh, for high visibility, uh, especially for people who are red, green, colorblind. Um, but that's just the marker for the location that Open Athena is going to calculate the location of. Um, and so if we hit the calculate button here, this little abacus, it instantly performs that raycast and calculates the location. And this is for the center of the image, which Open Athena has been able to do for a while now. But something that's really neat that's introduced in this version is you can simply just tap anywhere on the image to change the location that's being calculated. Um, and this is really neat because it doesn't require the operator to have to center the camera on the object that they're trying to geolocate. Um, this uses something called camera intrinsics. And the math that I do for all this is all completely open source. It's available on the GitHub page. Um, and it even accounts for things like um, cameras with optical and digital zoom, where the focal length might vary or the digital crop might vary. So Open Athena does its best using a wide variety of information to try to reconstruct how that image was generated and actually figure out proper intrinsics and ray angles and all that uh, just from whatever position you tap in the image. And so as a demonstration, I'm going to click on that little boulder there next to a bathroom hut. And we can see it gets it pretty close. I selected like right about here and I got it there. And this is all just done by ray casting um, from the drone's location and orientation towards that digital twin um, of the Earth stored by that digital elevation model. And so in principle, it's pretty simple, but it's really neat to see in action where you can just tap on anything and instantly it geolocates it. Where else have I done? We can see at uh, very shallow angles, it sometimes doesn't go far enough or um, goes too far. But um, the accuracy improves definitely with the steeper the angle. And that's just a feature of how it works. Um, so yeah. That's the new feature. Um, and then as always, um, Open Athena supports different output modes depending on what kind of setting you're using it in. Um, so it currently does support the NATO military grid reference system, 
which can describe a one 10 meter or 100 meter uh, square area on the earth. And it works just the same way. Um, as well as the um, systemic coordinate um, 1942 based on the Preskovsky 1940 ellipsoid, uh, which is commonly used in many Slavic countries. Um, so it supports that too. Um, it's a different geodetic system than most of us here in the West use, which is, so if you ever hear somebody say latitude, longitude, usually that's uh, in a system called WGS84. Um, and then it also supports an alternative military grid reference system um, called the uh, Gauss-Kruger uh, projections. And that is used to, um, in many former Warsaw Pact militaries as well. Um, and it works just the same way and provides just the same kind of results. So I need to fix the text formatting. But yeah, this is a preview of version um, 0 0.15, um, which once released will introduce this feature, which is really cool. Um, so anyways, one last one. How good was that? Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, and I hope to catch you soon with the next version. Bye.